Oh, so we never hear that in this area. No, no, oh, of course. <laughs> but, but if somebody just says, oh, fuck, or, you know, what? Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no intent there. There's no, yeah. you know. Why laggy? Why laggy? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Take it off the air, they go fuck off. Don't you think? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you're used I, to, I, I mean, I think they're just going for Tim's use of language. I think if I looked at any show on Studio 8, I think I could find, probably find a 50% or 80%, somewhere in that range, where I could find, like, I don't want my child flipping to this. <laughs> this is bizarre. I mean, it's the only shows filiacs or no, the only Christian shows where, where I could see, see as being uh, decent are the, the sporting shows where they have volleyball or whatever. You know, I think okay, that's good. Whatever, but um, you know, and, and the other thing too is that they they like are are all freaked out in this article that they have their first adult show to deal with. I mean, okay, you have public access television for your community, and it's designed to speak to your community. That's what public access is for. Right. It's for people around here in this area to have access to speak to you about what this is, this life, this, this thing, this place. Yeah. So the first time you get any adult to step in and say, okay, here I am, we got a camera, <laughs> let's go and like, here we are, we bowl every Monday night, and, yeah. uh, and then we, we go to the bar or whatever, and you know, let's, let's have a show talking about what people in Marshall talk about, and the, the few elite people the three people out of a 12,000 populace are going to leap up and say, hey, we better shut these people off. We, 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 we better have these people. Get $3? It's kind of steep. But... <laughs> uh, uh, how many people, uh, you know, how many people who watch those religious shows and like think, yeah. I'm all over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm about. This guy, he is on to something. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got a sense of my life and how, how my life is going and, and how things are and you know, like, you know, man, this is really great. I'm gonna have to tune in next week. <laughs> Wonder what'll happen. <laughs> How will it end? 
Yeah, that's one thing we should Paradise, add. Paradise, maybe. Well, there's actually some art to our show. We make cuts. Yeah. We add music. We don't just fucking stick a camera on something for an hour and. Well, you, know. you had to say fucking. <laughs> well, the point I would like to make about the show, I mean, in relationship to the complaint is, is or the complaints in question, is that uh, number one is um, it's not our purpose to go out and offend people by profanity. I mean, profanity is part of of the culture that we're trying to we're trying to show. And we're in a bar. It, it's part of the culture that we are. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. We're from the lower classes. We're not <laughs> from the higher classes. We're from the lower classes. We represent and we like people from the lower classes. I like people who don't make that much money <laughs> each year and who barely get by and who, you know, in the meantime, kind of ha try to have a good time. These are the people I like. <laughs> and who I represent and who make up a large portion of Marshall. A, lo a large portion of Marshall is people who just get by. They go to a job and they don't get paid well for it. They come home and they get fucked up. And that's what they're about. <laughs> and they talk this way. It's a class thing. And you can't, you can't inflict, if you're in that upper class who has your nice cable TV or whatever and you think I want all my TV, t cable TV channels to not have any kind of language re which reflects the people who are much poorer than myself uh, which is a valid desire on your part naturally but uh, uh, still you can't you can't stop us <laughs> beautiful beautiful so I guess next week it'll just be Harry <laughs> Stir up and you and me. Uh, and Bicey, if he's over the whooping cough and the, and the yeah. clap and whatever else he has. Well, if he's over his <laughs> Miniota disease, I think Miniota is like, um, it's got to be the plague city of the of the Minnesota. I mean, Bicey never... avoided the AIDS. The AIDS. Boy, he just lucked out too. But he man. got the syphilis. <laughs> and now his brain is true. <laughs> I wonder why. I sense is. another two minute response coming on. I mean, always. I, I just wonder why Bicey's always sick. You know? We all wonder. Because he's got, you know. I mean, he's ill. Is, it, is he sick or has he got some sort of personal problems? That he's afraid to come out and, and expose them. When well, he's, he hey, why don't you come out and talk? And he goes, Saturday. Yeah, when he's doing all that cocaine. No, yeah, the party. It's going to be a little. What's that? Uh, Cocaine. Was doing all night. What Remember that so? white powder? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, Bicey was telling me. China white? Some, is it legal or illegal? Uh, I think it's legal. In certain doses. Yeah, yeah. It's like certain doses. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It used to be legal. Yeah. Back it's, in Freud's day. Yeah, Freud just. He's a big coke head. That was back when Coke truly was better than Pepsi, just undeniably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you had, when you had to finish the boat, what is better, Coke or Pepsi? Who likes Coke? I don't know. I like cocaine. Okay, but kids, let me tell you something. You kids who are watching, apparently. Yeah. Harry, Harry's been... And you, and my, my, if you're still watching kids, you have like the best attention span yes, exactly. that has ever exactly. been developed kids, in if you're Western still society. This show and it's been on for this long. You are special. <laughs> you are headed for college and for some sort of special degree and everything. You know, you're you're out there. You're you know uh, you know because because frankly, any kid who would sit there and look at this show for this long. <laughs> And who would like be like waiting for the breasts or <laughs> for the next like, curse word like for the sci-fi plot or whatever it is that kids look for, you know. Even like more color. Yeah. More color, more you know, because the fact is that we're barely audible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you want, if you want yeah. something audible, I mean, yeah, yeah you yeah. might. This might not be your show. Turn on SpongeBob. Okay. <laughs> you really have to develop a kind of lip reading to get into educated bowlers. That's right. And the 
especially because Tim holds the cameras. Well, that might be it. It might be all the deaf people in Marshall that are pissed off. Because he can do some lip reading. Deaf people everywhere are pissed off. They are? Because they're deaf. <laughs> is that what Deaf Comedy Jam is all about? No. I always wondered. No. Deaf? No. 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 This or that. <laughs> no children have ever, you know, you know, I think it's extremely rare for a child to know what the term fuck or anything means. It's going to be extremely rare. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so. you know, I think you're right. Because I think you're if right. we could only keep the public access shows from revealing the secret <laughs> words... <laughs> they would just disappear. They wouldn't be yeah, used anymore. Exactly. The children so. would get to, like, age 21. They'd be in college and... It'd be like they'd get their first bar experience. <laughs> they'd meet the Tim Bame and they'd go like, hey, fuck it. What, what the fuck is that? And they'd be like, what? <laughs> what did you say? What's that syllable you just interjected? <laughs> yeah. up the subject of intercourse. Why laggy? What? Why laggy? <laughs> start. <laughs> Poking fun at him because after when, when they talked at him, when we talked at them they said uh, we like Harry we like Harry we're just poking fun at him we like you know he's a great guy or whatever we're poking fun at him you know we're like okay great and frankly we didn't know him from Jehovah you know last week you know, we didn't know this guy this guy comes on and says we're indecent I say I'm indecent you think I'm indecent Harry is that true. Is that true? <laughs> Do you still think that's true? <laughs> Bring it on! No, I don't think it's true. I don't think it's true because I'm a man, and these nipples are nothing. nothing. The cultural imagination, these are nothing. These are not anything that anyone longs for. They're not sexual. They're not going to disturb children. They're just man's nipples. Right? They're just a man's nipples. Let's get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. judge the situation's wrongness on whether it's wrong or not. They want to just come up with some kind of arbitrary rules which say it's wrong. No. It's not wrong if I say, oh, she's a really pretty cunt or something, or I love your cunt or something. It's not wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> 